is an elegant grasshopper and they've just lately become this size. There were little hoppers just a couple of weeks ago, basically as big as your thumbnail. Now look at this very striking insect. What I quite enjoy about these particular grasshoppers is that they don't make any game about being distasteful. That they don't suggest that they're not good to eat. They sort of shout it out loud and clear and they do it using aposomatic coloration. So that is alternating bands of black, red and yellow and as you can see this particular species of arthropod has done an exceptional job of letting you know that I am not good to eat. Other Members of this particular family are oh, this red, knobbly, black color, and they even foam all over their bodies. They can and have been known to kill dogs that by accident chase them around and ingest them, and I suppose they could do some damage to a young child. Um, me, it just shouts, please don't eat me, whereas other grasshoppers tend is to pick grasshoppers that are neutral colored. Oh, hello like my binoculars and fry them up which gets rid of any nasty bacteria that's inside them so you want to try and fry up as much as what you can or heat at least to above 60 degrees centigrade for a couple of minutes before centigrade for a couple of minutes before popping anything into your mouth aren't you good catch there stiff this one trying his best to try and get away so we're going to let him on the next pass jump away but until then, just marvel at how beautiful those colors are. Now, all the way from the States, last three dogs has just mentioned that the grasshoppers here in Africa are much prettier than the ones that you get there in the States. Um, yeah, not having spent a lot of time with uh, your grasshoppers in the, in the States, I'll take your word for it. Um, but we are definitely... I would say an insect rich country here in South Africa, at the bottom of the African continent. We have a very, very large diversity of insects, some of them quite endemic. Um, this particular group of grasshoppers is represented by three or four different um, genuses. So quite a large, even these foaming grasshoppers, even quite represented quite well um, and very close to here. In actual fact, on some of the afternoon safaris, the, we, we, we quite like to show you the Maripskop um, mountain, part of the northern Drakensberg. That is one of the highest biodiversities of butterflies in the world. Just have a look at his pads on his front feet in the middle of my nail there. They're giving us a unique chance, this grasshopper, of actually examining how bizarre insect feet are. I mean, if insects look at us and think, can you imagine having a five-digited articulated appendage at the end of your arm? Imagine what we think of that. Just have a look at that. Jointed, clawed, with a suction pad. It's actually more of a friction pad than a suction pad. At the bottom of that foot, there are ridges. Those ridges increase surface area, which increases friction, and that allows these grasshoppers to pretty much be able to walk up almost anything that they want to. But just have a look at that. I think magnify that by a thousand times and it looks like some foot out of some science fiction movie. I quite enjoy looking at things like that.